Do you work better after you've had some time off to just put up your feet and relax a little? Welcome to Have I Got a Story for You, a new podcast from PJ Library. Be sure to check out pjlibrary.org to learn more about us. We send free picture books, music, and other fun stuff to families raising Jewish children. Today's Have I Got a Story for You features two good friends, a lot of vegetables, and one very special tractor. Now make sure you've got your boots and sunscreen. We're off to visit the farm. This is Sarah's farm. Oh, hey, is it recording day? I almost forgot you all were coming. Uh, I'm going to be pretty busy today, but make yourselves at home. Just watch out for the bees. Thanks, Sarah! Oh, ouch. Something bit me. <laughs> hey, everybody, let's stand by the tomatoes. There's some better shade over here. So here we are at Sarah's farm. She's got a few acres, a couple of goats, and several vegetable patches. Oh, and there's a cow, too, but she's retired. Her name is Martha, and she hangs out and chews cud. But this story isn't about her. It's about Sarah, her neighbor, a pickle maker, and cabbage farmer named Madge, and a tractor, Yitzi. Farmer Sarah's veggies were delicious and nutritious. Once a week, she drove Yitzi, her trusty old tractor, into town with a wagon full of delicious squash, leeks, carrots, kale, onions, and whatever else might be in season. Her stand always sold out quickly, much faster than Farmer Madge. Hey, Sarah, how do you do it? Your table sells out before lunchtime every week. Well, I'm not sure. I think it's really just all the help I get from trusty old Yitzi. And maybe a bit of luck, too. <laughs> well, if you figure it out, let me know. Yitzi helped Sarah do all the hard work of running a farm. And he wasn't just trusty. He was also a little musty and a little rusty. But Sarah knew when to change his oil. She knew the right way to change gears and ride the clutch. And she also knew that Yitzi always needed a quick brake tap before taking a left turn. We're a great team, right, Yitz? You said it, bud. Sarah and Yitzi did their hard but fun work every single day, except on Shabbat. Every Friday night, Yitzi powered down his headlights as Sarah lit candles. Sarah sipped a little grape juice as Yitzi had a little gasoline. She munched Hala as she sat on Yitzi's hood, and they both watched the darkening sky. Shabbat Shalom, Yitzi. And Shabbat Shalom to you too, Martha. On Saturday, Sarah and Yitzi ambled through the fields, took naps by the river, and picnicked under the trees. Too bad you don't eat pickles, Yitzi. This batch from Madge is perfection. When three stars appeared in the night sky, Shabbat was over, and Sarah and Yitzi were ready for another week of hard, fun work. All right, Yitzi, let's get back to it. But Sarah had trouble making ends meet. Even though her veggies were delicious and nutritious and people loved buying them for their meals, times were tough for veggie farmers. Sarah tried everything to boost veggie sales. She even sold off her favorite gardening tools, but it just wasn't enough. Sadly, Sarah realized she would have to sell Yitzi. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yitzi. I, I wish it didn't have to be this way. <laughs> hey, you guys wouldn't be interested in a tractor, would you? S sorry, Sarah. I'm not sure Yitzi would be the best podcaster. And he might not get along with our lawnmower, Steve. Oh, hey, it's Madge. Guys, you're still recording, right? Remember Sarah's friend, Farmer Madge? Well, she also had trouble making ends meet. And while times were tough for veggie farmers, things were even worse for pickle makers and cabbage farms. Madge had a feeling that Yitzi might be able to help. How's it going, Sarah? Oh, hey, Madge, what's going on? Well, I'm here to buy your tractor. Ugh, my boots are so muddy. Oh, wait, that's not mud. Ooh. Anyway. Moving along, do you feel like you might have heard a story like this before? 
There's an old folktale about a cow, or sometimes an ox, who doesn't usually work on Shabbat either. Yitzi was inspired by that story, but we included our buddy Martha in honor of the original story. Learn more at gotastorypodcast.com. Now, somebody get me some bug spray and a towel. I don't have much luck, but maybe Yitzi can turn things around. Oh, that's great. I'll miss old Yitzi here, but I'm glad he'll be with a friend. It works out nicely. My knees definitely need a break, and you've had a lot of great stuff to say about this tractor. All right. Let me tell you how to take care of him. First, you have to change his oil. You bet. And switch the gears like this. Sure thing. And ride the clutch like this. There's a little trick to it. I'll show you. I'll do everything the way you do. It's a deal, then. Do you prefer check or electronic pay? <laughs> Come on in for some lemonade, and we'll figure it out. So that was that. Madge paid Sarah, and after a few glasses of lemonade and some cucumber sandwiches, Madge started up Yitzi and began the short drive back to her farm down the road. See you later, Madge. Be good, Yitzi. Madge and Yitzi worked all week long in her field. Yitzi and his quirks took some getting used to, but Madge followed all of Sarah's advice, and trusty Yitzi worked just as hard as ever. With Yitzi's help, Madge cleared space to grow some cucumbers, pulled down an old dead tree, and started a new cabbage patch. Great job, Yitzi! Meanwhile, Sarah missed Yitzi and their hard, fun work. She tried to get Martha out in the fields to help, but it, it just wasn't the same. Martha, watch where you're kicking! All right, I get it. Come on, we'll head back to the pasture. Early Friday evening, Madge and Yitzi were driving down the fields. The sun was just beginning to set when, suddenly, Yitzi's motor stopped. What's wrong, Yitzi? Are you too musty and rusty to keep going? Well, if everything is fine, why did you stop working? But Yitzi didn't answer. He powered down his headlights and rested all night. Hmm. Maybe he's just tired? I've never heard of a tired tractor before, but it is getting late. I should be heading back. I've been looking forward to a nice cabbage salad with a side of pickle juice. But the next morning, when Madge went to start up Yitzi... What in the world? I can't even turn the key. I don't know what's up with you, Yitzi, but I'll be giving Sarah a call tomorrow. Right now, though, it's too late in the day to head over there. I've got to get started on my next batch of off-the-charts hot spicy pickles. So instead of working in the fields that day, Madge was inside making pickles. After the sunset, she heard a curious noise. Yitzi? You're running again. Huh. Well, that was unusual. You feel okay, bud? Well, it's a little late to go out now. We'll see how things are tomorrow morning. So Yitzi powered down, and Madge returned to her pickles. The next morning, Yitzi was running even better than usual. Yitzi helped Madge spread fertilizer around the fields, tow the logs from the tree they had cut down, and make hay. Huh. That little shutdown must have been a fluke. And so Madge and Yitzi enjoyed a busy week on her cabbage farm. She even hitched a wagon to Yitzi to head to the market. You'll look great next to my pickles table at the market, Yitzi. Things were going well until Friday evening, when Yitzi unexpectedly powered down again. Yitzi! Yitzi! Are you okay? Hello? Madge got down from her seat and took a look at Yitzi's engine. Nothing out of order there. She poked at his wheels. No flats. And she double-checked the fuel and fluids. All full! Oh, Madge, does he have enough coolant? I've heard that's a thing tractors need. Coolant. It's the weirdest thing. He seems totally fine. Yitzi, is it something I did or said? If you start back up again, I promise you won't have to pull onions tomorrow. I'm going to see if Sarah's around. Something is up with this tractor. Madge marched across the field to Sarah's farm. 
Hey, Sarah, you up? Up here. Just giving Martha some clovers. What's going on? Hey, can you come take a look at Yitzi? Worried, Sarah ran over to Madge's field. But when she got there, Yitzi looked fine and very happy to see her. Sarah hugged Yitzi, then turned to Madge. No worries, Madge. He's fine. Just taking a rest. So, wait. I'm not following. He's resting. That's what Yitzi and I do every Shabbat. He'll work even better for you tomorrow, you'll see. All right, if you say so. Sure enough, Yitzi rested until Saturday night when three stars appeared in the sky. Then his headlights popped back on. Yitzi was ready to start working again. And Madge found that, just like before, he did work even harder the next day. She also realized how much Yitzi had been missing Sarah. So, from then on, Madge and Sarah decided they would share trusty Yitzi. He worked in Madge's field one day, and Sarah's the next. Then Sarah and Madge sold their delicious, nutritious food at the same table at market. When they worked together, the work was less hard and more fun. And by working together, they could make ends meet and save a little extra, too. We're We're a a great great team. team. And every Shabbat, all three of them rested. Together. (laughs) Oh, sorry, Martha. All four of them. Oh, wow, that is a spicy pickle. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> ah. Okay, okay. Whew. Whew. Ah. Do you have a story for us? We'd love to hear it. Send us your stories. Visit gotastorypodcast.com to learn how. Or email a voice memo to story at gotastorypodcast.com. 